What's going on guys and welcome back to the Spartan Mining YouTube channel. I told you I would update you and we are back with the update. So I got all the cards, files modded, done up on the one click timing patch for all of my RX 580 8GB Gaming X editions from MSI. They had custom timing straps put on them before. I went through and one click timing patched. And I now have the best possible settings that you can have on the kryptonite algorithm, and I'm going to show you why. This is seven cards. DP0 through 5 are the MSI RX 580 Gaming X Edition cards that I have that have the one click timing patch. They are all doing a kilohash each. I have GPU 3, which is acting a little wonky, so I'm thinking it might have a different sheet of memory in there in the Samsung set. So it's not wanting to take the overclock settings kind of well, but I mean it's taking it. You can't really do much. You can undervolt these cards, but it's going to depend from card to card on how much you can undervolt. Out of the box, these will go to 1388 on the core, so I have them set to 1300 across the board on the core. But each card is doing uh, 1011 mega hash a second. And then you see GPU-6 is the MK2 Armor one, which has the Micron memory in there. <laughs> the Samsung memory is blowing that one out of the water by 80 hashes. All right, so let's go in and look at my overclock settings. So I have 1300 on the core, 2100 across the board, except when we get to GPU-3. Now mine's different, yours may be different, so just be aware. And then I have 2000 on the memory, 2100, 2100 and then 2200 on the micron the micron one likes to have some memory overclock to it it bumps the hash rate up so yeah i got 850 on the core undervolt three on my power stage and then you can see the rest of the settings here now you can leave your core and your memory blank and then it'll whenever you load simple mining right up you're going to be getting you know that kilohash if you have Samsung memory and you have the MSI RX 580 Gaming X Edition cards, you're going to get a, one kilohash. So now I have them bumped down to 1300. With 1300 across the board on these seven cards, my rig is pulling 750 watts from the wall. Uh, I can get it to go a little lower, but then the cards become unstable. So I could switch this over to the Ethereum algorithm, but I'm not going to. But let me just show you what one kilohash on each of these cards is doing now for me. So on the Kryptonite algorithm, my entire farm is doing 12,111 hashes a second. My power cost for the entire farm is around 15 to 1,600 watts. So if we go down and we go to Electronium, you can see I'm pulling in 325 to 362 Electronium a day with a whopping, a whopping profit of uh, $7.15 before power cost or $3.55 after power cost. Now, that's not bad. I'm going to be trying to mine Electronium full time. That's what I'm trying to put my channel over to. However, let's go back up to the top. Right now I'm mining Monero 7. Well, I'm, not, I'm mining Monero. I'm mining whenever they forked off from being ASIC. This is what my farm is making a day. $23.93 before power cost and $20.33 after power cost. So I'm making $20 a day again on my mining farm and I'm going to be mining Monero for a little bit. I'm getting 1.3 or 0.1376 Monero every 24 hours or 1612 Monero every 24 hours just depending. So I'm going to be mining Monero right now, a 400% profit. Sign me the f*** up, okay? I know I said I was going to be mining Electronium. I've got a nice stockpile of Electronium, but Electronium is not making me $20 a day like Monero is. So the best possible settings for Kryptonite right now is $1,300 across the board on your core, and then you can leave memory blank if you want to. This is for the MSI RX 580 Gaming X Edition cards. Now, I will go over a video setting up the Monero pool, but this is the same hash rate that I will get mining Electronium. It will, I mean, it's going to be the exact same. So, I mean, you can say this is the Electronium update as well. 
I spent a couple hours getting everything fixed up and testing and making sure it was running stable because I didn't want to show you guys a bunch of shit. But, you know, 325 to 362 electronium a day with my mining farm. You know, you can see what I'd be making a day, $3.55. Or, oh, where did I go? Where did I go? There we go. $20.33 a day or $23.93 before power cost. I think I'm going to go with making $20 a day again. So, I mean, you might hate me for bandwagon jumping. But just one click timing patch. If you have the RX 580 Gaming X editions, I'm getting one kilohash each. The Vega 56 or the Vega 64s were pulling, what, two kilohash on them and people were going fucking bananas. Yeah, well, my RX 580 is pulling a kilohash. And now what? Seven, seven mega hash or seven kilo hash. We'll go over to the Monero pool. We'll go to dashboard real quick. Yeah, eleven point six nine kilo hash on Monero right now. So you, I mean, I'm gonna let it eat. We're eating Monero. So if you guys want to hop on board, you know, try these settings out for you. Just be aware that it might not work. You don't have to worry too much about the memory across the board. Just bump your core up to 1300 or 1350. Be aware that bumping your core up is going to cause your power draw to go up significantly. However, I'm happy as shit with the results that I'm getting right now. So I can swap back and forth between Monero or Electronium at any point in time, and I'm going to get this hash rate across the board. So, guys. With that being said, be on the lookout for the videos coming out later on tonight. And be sure to check out Brandon over at Brandon Coin. He's going to be dropping his videos, talking about it as well. Hop on this train. One kilo hash for a, a RX 580. It's blowing it out of the water. I don't know anybody else who has their RX 580s pushing a kilo hash each. So you know, maybe I'm first on the scene. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can stay up to date. I'm going to have it at the, the end of the video or right now you'll be able to click subscribe on your left and then you can watch the next video coming up about how to mine electronium. I'm going to be doing a video coming up about setting up electronium through the simple miner, setting up Monero through simple miner. So just be on the lookout guys. Until then, peace.